Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. In maths today, we are going to be looking at the link between repeated addition and multiplication again. So here is our starter. It says, how could we represent this calculation using Numicon? I know that we don't have Numicon at home. Um, normally at school, we would have that, this out in front of us. So we're just gonna to imagine today. I don't mind if you draw your Numicon or you can just imagine using it. Um, so how could we represent this calculation using Numicon. You can have a discussion with whoever's with you. If you're at school, then you can have a chat to whoever you're with. Um, pause the video now to have a think. Okay, well done for doing that. So I was thinking that we could use Numicon to represent this calculation. To start off with, we need to look at how many groups of two we have. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. Now, what I might do is I would get the Numicon piece that represents two, so this piece here with the two holes, and I might draw another piece, and another piece, and another piece. This might represent this calculation, as so I've got four groups of two here. Now this can show me quite quickly how many I have all together. I can just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could also count in my twos. Two, four, six, eight. I know that I have eight all together. Could I use any other pieces of Numicon, do you think? You could maybe let us know on Padlet or you could email us. Um, have a go at home, see what you can come up with. The next question says, what would the multiplication calculation look like? I've already got the repeated addition sentence on the screen. So what would my multiplication calculation look like? Let's just double check together quickly now. I've got one, two, three, four groups. And in each of my groups, I've got two. Pause the video to write down the multiplication calculation for me now. Well done for having a go at that. I'm going to write it out quickly. So I know that I've got one, two, three, four groups. And in my four groups, I have two. And if we've been practicing our times tables, then we should know that four times two is eight. Well done. So how could we match a multiplication calculation to a, re to a repeated addition calculation? Um, I wonder, I wonder if we could have a go at matching them both up. I'm going to do this first one here. So I can see that this is a repeated addition calculation because I can see that I'm adding the same number over and over again. Um, so I'm going to have a go at trying to write the multiplication calculation. Once I've done this, then you can have a go at trying to write the multiplication calculation for this question and then the repeated addition for these two questions. See if you can have a go. So. I've got one, two, three, four, five groups. And in each of my groups, I have two. So that means that doing this repeated addition is the same as doing five times two, which we know equals 10. Pause the video to have a go at the rest of these questions. Well done for having a go at these. So I'm going to finish off and write these answers up so that you can mark your work. So to write the multiplication calculation for this question here, let's see how many groups I have. One, two, three, four groups. And in each of my groups, I have 10. Now I know that I can count up in my 10 times table, four times to write this out, 10, 20, 30, 40. I have four tens. So my answer, oops is 40. Now, the multiplication calculations, let's try and write those out in a repeated addition sentence. So I can see that I'm going to have three groups and in each of my groups, I'm going to have five, which means I'll be doing five plus another five plus another five. Let me just double check that I've got the right amount of groups. One, two, three. Perfect. I could have done it another way. I could have done groups of three, five times. That's a bit longer that way, so I'm not gonna do that now. 
Let's count up in our fives quickly. Five, 10, 15. My answer is 15. Now this time, let's have a look. I'm going to have four groups and in each of my groups, I'm going to have two. So I need to add two four times. One, two, three, four groups of two. And if I know my two times table, then I know that four times two or two times four, because they're the same, um, makes eight. So we're going to have a quick practice now. It says, look at the calculations. How can we draw a picture to represent the calculation? How can we do that? How can we draw a picture to represent the calculation? If you think of using your Numicon, that might help you. So have a quick go for me now, and then I will go through it with you. So pause the video to have a go. Well done for having a go at these. Now I'm going to show you how I would draw a picture to represent the calculation that's happening here. So I know that I'm going to have three groups. So I'm going to draw the dots across. One, two, three. These are the starts of my groups. In each of my groups, I need to have two. So this is my first group and I've got two dots here. This is my second group and I've got two dots. And this is my third group and I've got two dots. The next group, I can see that I'm going to have two I have two groups and in each of these groups I'm going to have 10. So let's draw the start of my groups. I need two groups and in each group I'm going to need 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to do the same in my next group. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, 10, that's quite a big dot, isn't it? Well done if you managed to draw these correctly. So now it is your turn. You're going to draw an array for this calculation. Remember, you're going to need four groups and in each of those groups, you're going to need five. Okay, so have a go at drawing an array for this calculation. Pause the video now to do that. Well done for having a go at drawing this array. Let's check and see how you managed to do. So here is an example of what you should have drawn. Let's have a look at the top. We've got one, two, three, four. I might even draw around them just to make it super clear. One group here. Another group here, they're overlapping a little bit, sorry. Another group here and another group here. And we can see that in each of these groups, we should have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is how we draw an array to represent the calculation. So I'm going to explain your independent activities. If you're doing few ideas, you're going to match the repeated addition calculation to the multiplication calculation. You're just matching them up. If you're doing relate, then you're going to write the repeated addition as a multiplication calculation. And if you're doing extend, then you're going to write the calculation and work out the answer. So you're going to draw a picture to represent the calculation as well. For example, you're going to write this out four times two. You're going to work out the answer and you're also going to draw the picture to represent it. Okay. So this is a few ideas. So you can see that there's a um, repeated addition on this side and multiplication on this side, and you just need to match them up. You can have a go at working out the answers as well. So pause the video to have a go at these. These are the relate questions. So you're going to write the repeated addition. So all of these questions here as multiplication instead. You need to work out how many groups there are and how many there are in each group to work these out. If you're doing extend, then you're going to solve these calculations and you're going to draw an array to represent the multiplication as well. I've put an example down at the bottom here for you. Well done for working so hard again today. Today we had Jerry join us in our lesson. Did you manage to find him? You can upload your work to Padlet or you can email it to us and you can let us know whether you found the special guest. 
Well done for working so hard and we will see you very soon.